what an honor it is to be here with so many victims of unthinkable tragedy who have turned anguish into action. Thank you for all that you're doing. I want to take everyone back to a small town in my district, Andover, Massachusetts, on May 19th, May 9th, 2023, almost exactly a year ago. A beautiful five-year-old girl, Sydney Olson, was waiting for a walk sign to cross the street. When the walk light changed and she got the signal, she started across. And a big semi-truck, which couldn't see her, started forward and hit her. It knocked her down, but she got up and tried to get out of the way. But then that truck jerked forward again and ran her over, ending her life in an instant before her entire family. It's an unimaginable moment in any parent's life. The accident devastated her family, her brother, her mom, her dad. It devastated the truck driver who didn't even know what had happened until after it had happened. This entire accident could have been prevented with a $50 mirror. A $50 mirror installed on that truck so that the driver could see what was in front of him. The same mirrors that are installed on school buses all across the country. Like the families up here with me today, Sydney's family has turned this unthinkable tragedy into an opportunity to make our community safer through their organization, Sydney's Rainbows. There are plenty of changes that we can make, big and small, that will save countless lives. Back in Andover, we want common sense traffic changes to that crosswalk where Sydney lost her life, like improved awareness, enforcement of speed limits, and changing the set-off distance from the crosswalk. But a few basic changes would greatly improve safety for all road users in America. Let's start with shifting the paradigm. Start designing roads for everyone, for pedestrians, bicyclists, and other non-motorized transportation. Instead of only designing roads to make our cars go as fast as they can go. Let's increase the usage of red light and stop sign cameras to curb bad driving behavior. Such devices are illegal in many states, including the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Let's push NHTSA to consider vehicle safety for all those. Those outside of cars as well as those inside of cars, instead of only considering the occupants of vehicles. Our current system leads to an arms race for the largest, most dangerous vehicles possible on our roadways. Let's promote a vision for holistic, dense, walkable communities with abundant, affordable housing. Let's talk about what Europe is doing in mode shift to get people out of cars with the freedom to choose better alternatives to get around. It's not even a topic of conversation with our Department of Transportation. And it's the prime effort in Europe. 120 Americans a day die in traffic accidents. Imagine if 120 Americans died in airline accidents every single day. We would say that's unacceptable. We'd invest billions of dollars of subsidies and trying to stop it. This is a national tragedy, and we do have to take action. We shouldn't have five-year-old kids anywhere in America crossing a street when they get a walk sign and ending their lives. <laughs>